Hello and welcome to the Science Ferry. In this video I will take apart this mini fridge and see what's inside and maybe get some useful components out of it. The fridge works with 12 volts and you can switch it here on heating or cooling. I guess I can just remove this backside by removing these screws and I will do this right now. All right, let's see what's inside. All right, we have this fan. This is also screwed down, so I will remove the screws there as well. I can see here already, this is a very, very small heat sink and this thing can't really work very well because the seating is so small we have here the circuit board and there are screws as well so I will see if I can remove them they're underneath some plastic here so I have to poke through this all right so this must have been very cheap. This is just an LED, some diodes, one resistor, this LED, and this switch. And that's it. And then this small heatsink attached to that. This is not very big. This heatsink is super small in, in comparison. Here's a normal heatsink that's supposed to be on a 12 volt uh, refrigerator Peltier refrigerator and I will take this off as well okay that's a very small Peltier module smaller than what I usually use this is a 5 amp Peltier element, so this takes 5 amps. Some foam isolation. Mm, I can't take this off. Then over here we have some cooling block but that seems to be screwed down from the other side yeah this thing is screwed down from here as well so I will remove these screws as well all right I removed the screws here the inside actually looks very well I had this from the garbage and this looks pretty fine close this off again now I can remove this thing and this thing should, it's pretty tight in there, can't really remove that. Yeah, there's thermal grease all over the place, have to clean that up. And something came off from the inside. So I got this small heat sink, this aluminium block and this aluminium plate and these electronics and this is very small so this must have been a very cheap refrigerator this is not working very good this is probably the reason why it was on the garbage because I can't see any damage on the electronics or the Peltier module so I will try it out and plug it into 12 volts I guess Alright, this got hot pretty fast, so I had to stop, but this is working, just made some noises, I think, which one was the hot side, I think the hot side was this, so I'll put this on this heat, heat sink again. Alright, now it's working. I'm not sure if it's hearable, but the fan is making some noises. 
Uh, this is getting nice and cold. What we can try is flip the switch. Yeah, now this is heating up. Ooh. Whatever. But yeah, this must have been a very cheap unit because the heatsink is super small, way too small for a pulcher element. This is a 5 amp one and this produces a lot of heat. This comes on top of this and then this back plate on there. And this can't really uh, soak heat into it or move heat from the inside. This is on the inside and it has to move heat from the inside to the outside to this heatsink. And this is very inefficient to do this just on this small area. Must have been a very cheap fridge box. That's also interesting. It has this thermal switch shutting it off at uh, 75, yes, 75 degrees. Uh, that's for the heating when you switch this to heat, then this side will get hot and will heat the inside of the box and this will prevent this from overheating because it's the same with uh, moving the heat from the inside to the outside if you heat this up this will heat up very fast because this is not a lot of surface area so you have to switch it off so yeah this is what was in such a cheap refrigerator box don't buy it if it only has like this surface area to cool this is not working and not worth the money so yeah i will probably reuse some of these components and maybe the fan it makes some noises not sure all right thanks for watching bye